Uh, yeah. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, hiya, and welcome to Tights TV. It's Neil, and I've got Robbie, a Birmingham City fan, uh, with me. Uh, obviously, it's our first game, uh, tw- league game of 2022, and we're going away to Birmingham City. Desperately needing a win, but how we are playing at the minute, it's going to be uh, hard. But I've got Robbie on to gear's insight to Birmingham, because uh, they're having some uh, issues as well, so we're going to just get a bit of insight to Birmingham. So, welcome, Robbie. Um, yeah, can you tell me a bit about Birmingham? This season, how it's been going for you, mate? Um, I think mean, obviously at the start it was a positive start to prefer. Mm. Um, we beat Sheffield United one 0 away. Um, and then we due to lose uh, due to Stoke nil nil. Um, we lost to Bournemouth. We beat. Loot and five nil. So scoring a good amount of goals, and then yeah. it kind of went on a bad run of form. And since then, it's been quite bad. As uh, Lee Bowyer, uh, from me looking outside in, Lee Bowyer always seems to come across as a very pretty strong kind of manager character. Is that fair to say? It did, does he demand certain uh, commitment from Birmingham players? Yeah, he's obviously he played for us for two seasons and he won the Carling Cup with us so mm. he knows what he knows what it's like to like obviously play for us and stuff I think that so helps the, the players have kind of adapted to his like play style and in a way it's worked because we did well with him last season when he came in for 10 games mm-hmm. we won 5 out of the 10 Last three in due to, so not bad. I think it helps that as well. Having a, a manager that comes in and he knows a bit a bit history at club and he knows what it is in championship as well. Said so a yeah. bit of a career as well. Um, so what you know, um, it started going wrong for you. I know there's been a bit of unrest for you reading papers and stuff like that, but I always think it's better to ask like uh, an actual fan. Because sometimes you can read in papers and you're thinking of making stuff up or they're exaggerating it more. So, yeah. in in your eyes at Birmingham, Ben, is it is it the the owners um, or is it just things round surrounding the club itself, uh, Robbie? Um, yeah, I think it's the owners not they're not looking after the club properly. I mean, we posted a pic oh, a picture earlier of what the um, under the ground looked like. It was just not cared about it's rusty and sorrow mm. under the ground and stuff and they've been a pain for quite a few years now. So I can good managers when they're in when a good position kind of selling our best players off. Mm. And it just sounds like yeah, it just sounds like broken promises then but the like I say selling your best players but not investing it in club, uh like maintenance yeah. at club as well, which is a bit frustrating because we're having Issue was at our club as well. It probably documented that uh, a lot of fans have been saying that you know we were in playoffs last season. Our key go from fourth to now bottom, and it's things what's happening not necessarily on the pitch but off the pitch. But it's affecting stuff on the pitch. So it's like investment, and we we're all wanting like players. I mean, with 20, 21 days into uh, transfer window, and really at this time of uh, season. We're wanting some like place to come in to try and freshen up and try as gears a faith chance to get out of the uh, situation, but there's no time to rise in a minute. And that, my, that's my concern at minute is that we need some strong leaders, some strong experienced players to come in and try and help us. Is, is, uh, uh, is that a similar situation at Birmingham that you were wanting some recruitment in some players in certain areas? Um, yeah, we've, we're mainly looking at like kind of a attacking midfielders and um, centre-backs because mm. obviously we've, we've I've recently we've conceded a ton of goals that just they're not it's just the defence has been very shaky recently and we've, obviously in the week we lost 6-2 to Fulham yeah mm. um, we've had some big kind of losses this season and not scoring enough goals, which is a problem as well. Yeah, it's going to be a problem, but uh, well, it's not winning games. 
yeah, not winning games. That's it. And it all, it's all down to confidence and all some of what we are lacking. Um, at yeah. minute, we've probably got 14, 15 players, I think, what's available. First team is what is in local press here for tomorrow's game. Uh, what kind of style of football are we expecting Lee Bowyer to play? Is he, is he like direct? Is he in your face? Is he high tempo? What kind of style has he been playing this season? Well, we started, well, all the season we've got, we've played the same. We've switched like a different formation. It was like a three, three, four, one, two. Mm. Well, obviously, at the start, we had Chung, who's he's nearly back now, but. He's been out for a couple of months now. Right. And it was working at the start because teams never really played us with that kind of formation. And then the team started sussing us out and yeah. started kind of taking advantage of it and kind of beating us and stuff like that. Yeah, that, that's all the thing when other teams start sussing out your tactics kind of thing, like try to counter it and it like tries to null your kind of style of play. Uh, that's the frustrating thing about it. And if you if it's like a plan B is not paying off, it, it, it tends to rub off on pitch and you can't see where it's going to be going. Um, as, as for us, I mean, like I said, it's, it's first league game and we've had like COVID issues and all that. So my probably concern is when players what are available, 14, 15 players, is that how much fit are they going to be? You know what I mean? Because if we've been isolated on that before, are we going to be up to speed? I've, I've just got to... My, my, I'm going for a draw. Um, I think it's going to be one apiece. Ideally, we want to win because at even a point at this stage of the season, the point's better than none, but we still need to be getting wins because yeah. our dab is going on run. What do you think score prediction is going to be for uh, tomorrow then, Robbie? Probably have to go same as you, 1-1. One, one. Mm. Yeah, I think, I'm think i just thinking it's going to be one of them kind of games. I'm hoping it, I'm wrong. It's, you know, it, it proves to be an attacking game. But at this, you know, like I said, we need a win, uh, obviously for reasons, you know, bottom of the table kind of thing. So yeah. we need to kick start it somewhere down the line. So I'm going for one, one apiece. Rob is going for one apiece. Uh, just before I uh, sign off and everything, uh, everybody watched, uh, joined us on this. If you want to leave your comments below and, um, you you know, like and share and all that kind of what we always say, put your comments below. You might agree, disagree. You might say that Birmingham are going to win or Barnes are going to win. So if you get your comments in, I will reply to them all. I just want to thank Robbie for joining me. I uh, appreciate it, mate. Really appreciate you joining me on Tykes TV. Problem. Uh, one thing left to say, thanks all for watching. Uh, you Reds. <laughs>